What's up guys, today I wanted to do a quick video on the struggles I had on building the K20 swaps and uh, the cost of it. So first things first, make sure whatever car you're working on that the wiring is good. Um, I ran into the problem where I bought a hatch that had a B20 to the bone swap and the wiring was just all over the place. It wasn't a clean swap. adapter harness, I ran a K2 adapter harness, um, 
and then I got the views. I mean, you guys just gotta look, you can find these things in real estate. Uh, for me, it was a budget build, so I did look everywhere that I could, and I was pretty successful in many places. Um, and for the transmission, for those of you who cost around a grand, nine, eight hundred bucks, I found it for six hundred bucks. It's shit. Um, what other K-motor stuff? Um, I also ran a K-motor, um, radiator brackets. So I would have to weld. I don't have a personal welder, so I'm not going to go and, you know, find someone who has one. And you can't do that. Just get the K-motor ones. Or they sell some other brands as well. And just flip it from the, what is it? From the passenger side to the driver's side. Um, uh, that's pretty much all the K-motor stuff I got. The food, fuel pressure regulator did work really good with me. Um, never had any problems with it. Uh, as well as the K motor fuel rail, never had any problems. I just put the injectors in there, the stock injectors, 310 CC, if I'm right. Um, and no leak, anything. Just make sure you put, get new seals for it. You can do that. Um, but pretty much bolt on on the Z3 at least. The fuel lines, fuel lines, I did it myself. There's no point in wasting so much money on on a damn fuel rail. I mean, yeah, to like make it look fancy, cool, and everything, but um, it, they're just too much money. Um, might as well just buy the, the fuel line you make it yourself. It's real cheap and, and it's real easy as well. You can also get tutorials online. Um, So, I don't know. 